All right, so last night, Nico Horner went three for four with a triple and four RBIs in his debut with the Chicago Cubs. Some injuries made, you know, the call up a little early than most people would have gotten. He went straight from double A to the majors, but I mean, his performance last night kind of makes him look like he's ready to play in the majors now. Do I think he, like, will stay? Probably not once Javi Baez, Addison Russell, and a couple others get healthy, but he was he's showing that he does have the potential to be a future star in the big so i hope you guys enjoyed today's career simulation if you do leave a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always in the comment section let me know future players you would like to see for future career sims so just to get this out of the way i might move him to second base if the cubs do re-sign javi baez when his contract does expire other than that, he'll probably end up staying at short. Who knows what happens? But let's go take a look at his stats. So to start it off, Nico Horner is in double A like he obviously was before the call up. He's 64 overall at 21 years old, can also play second, A potential. And as you can see, mid 50s, kind of actually high 50s for fielding, 60 for speed. I think it should be a little bit higher, maybe like low 70s, high 60s. He did show that he actually had some speed um, in the game last night. And also when you look at his contact stats, pretty decent you know in the 50s for a player that's in double a i feel like these are pretty respectable stats so we're going to leave it like this for now we're going to see how he develops over the next two seasons i feel like in real life if the cubs didn't have any injuries i think that um next season he would have been a late call up and then the year after he definitely would be a major leaguer so i'm going to give him at least two seasons in the minors to see where he develops and then probably by season three, he'll be a major leaguer. So let's see how it plays out. I'll see you guys at the end of two seasons just to kind of get an idea of how he developed in the farm system. All right, so we're 2022. So it's been three seasons that Nico Horner has been in the minors. We'll take a look at the lineup. You guys can kind of see that the Cubs didn't sign Javi Baez back or re-sign him, but they did sign Francisco Lindor. So we're in a bit of a pickle. Nico Horner is going to play second base. He can still play shortstop. His stats are about at the 60s. I still think he probably needs another year in the minors. The issue is um, his morale was taking him down because he wasn't in the majors. And so rather than him actually just sitting on the bench and doing nothing, let's just throw him in the majors, see what happens. Um, and fielding stats don't look too bad for a second baseman. The speed's okay. Only gone up once or one since he started. But I think the hitting stats are going to be kind of an issue. So we'll see what happens and uh, we'll see how his first year in the majors plays out. So no playoffs, which is weird because the Cubs won the World Series last year in the sim, but um, it was a rough year for the Cubs as well as Nico Horner. I did mention, I think he was too young or like not ready to play in the majors. You guys can see potential starting to head in a downward direction. His overalls going up, mostly the fielding and stuff. I do want to check training and see if he was, um, on auto training which the training was probably fielding which is why he had such a big boost in fielding compared to everything else um, but when you do look at his stats for the season it does kind of show that he had a pretty rough year only four home runs 23 doubles isn't terrible 26 rbis and the average at 221 with 316 on base percentage would make me assume that he just had a rough time hitting the ball just you know as a, in a sim it's going to be tough when you don't have really good stats you know 293 slugging is not good at all and a 609 ops is pretty rough so maybe switch the training up to see if he can work on that hitting more we'll have to see but first season not the greatest for nico horner all right as we head into season five for nico horner he's up to an 88 i'm i don't see these stats and i think he is an 88 i think he's more of like a 84 ish player um you can see like the morale is not boosting him up or every or anything like that so um obviously if you take him to shortstop he's probably more of like an 84 83 but decent fielding stats the hitting stats mostly vision and discipline are going up you can kind of see the contacts going up a little bit as well and the power slowly but at the age of 28 i don't really expect him to get much higher in terms of overall or stats unless you know they get the the typical like crazy boost in power all of a sudden because when you look at his season career so or like his career stats so far he hasn't hit more than 14 home runs or 25 doubles so he's not really producing a lot of pop off the bat and his average not that great either 281 is his best outside of that it's everything is below 250 so so far pretty lackluster i wonder if he'll get like a little late um just boost that it seems like every young player does like they seem to hit their peak at like 28 
and they go really solid like really good with stats really good with attributes till about 32 and then they tank so we'll see what happens i'll see you guys at the end of season five Alrighty, so postseason for the Cubs, we'll take a look at league leaders and stuff. I know most of them were Chris Bryant. I've already looked at them. Awards, none for um, Nico Horner. You guys can see first in the division, but let's take a look at his line or his stats. So, like I mentioned, usually around 27, 28, sometime, or I guess most of the time players get like a little boost in stats. I guess it's their prime, and that's when they really start to develop, which is weird. I don't know if it's the service time that this is where they start to hit their prime or if it's the age, but I've noticed a lot of times players start to hit this 27, 28, 29 age range and they start to get boosts to hitting, you know, their stats go up and stuff like that. And you guys can see home runs, career high, doubles are about the same, RBIs career high, walks are about the same, strikeouts are about the same, average went up, so almost almost a career high about 20 points less but you can see he's starting to kind of get a boost in stats so we'll have to wait and see i think his contract does expire at the end of the year we'll see if the cubs are able to resign him but you can kind of see he's starting to get like an upward trend so i don't know if it really is that prime of a, a field player's career or if it's a service time but usually about this time is when players start to hit their their growth peak so we'll wait and see what happens and we'll kind of figure out how the playoffs finish. So let's just uh, sim to the off season, see what happens. Eliminated first round. Awesome. So that's about it. I'll show you guys if he gets traded or he signs with a different team. Other than that, so far, five years in the bigs, pretty disappointing. All right, we're in 2028. And I think we're a season after, we're going into like season seven. Uh, you guys can see he got paid 31 million a year. But um, he's a 92 overall. This might be hitting the point where he starts to cap out at rating. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what he would look like as like a second baseman shortstop. So fielding wise, he definitely could play shortstop. He looks really good at second base at 30 years old. I'm thinking this is kind of where he'll start to cap out um, hitting wise, fielding wise and stuff like that. Maybe another two seasons of growth. But after that, 100% he'll start to decrease. So hitting wise, he looks okay. Really good vision and discipline. When you look at his last couple seasons, you can see, like I mentioned, it kind of seems like they kind of hit a peak um, or a growth, like a growth spurt, um, a development spurt, their prime, and they just kind of start to develop a little bit more. So last year, definitely a career year for him. All right, we're heading into year 10 for him for MLB service time, and he's a 99. Holy cow. Um, morale's boosting him up one overall. So, I mean, it's not like... Too much is being boosted up by morale. Fielding wise, he's definitely a shortstop. Um, who do they have at shortstop? Arcia. I mean, I guess we could move him to shortstop. He'd probably be like a 96 or so. But we'll just keep him at second just for the sake of leaving him at second. Hitting stats have actually been going up. So it seems like maybe that 28, 29 year uh, age range is that that prime where they start to they boost in uh, overall and stuff like that. So you guys can kind of see last few years. So basically since what? He was 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 30. yeah. So since he was like 30, since he was like 28, 29, he's had a boost in doubles, home runs. The average has been consistently kind of going up on base percentage and stuff like that. So that's kind of the prime, I guess, for MLB the show. But it's it's weird because once they hit like 10 years of service time, it seems like they decrease no matter what. So I don't know if it's if there's just some weird some weird thing with MLB the show where they're only good for like five years but um maybe that's just the case but you guys can kind of see how he's looking throughout his career he's sitting at about 150 home runs definitely the last few years have helped out with his home run numbers doubles have definitely gone up quite a bit and then his career average has gone up as well so we'll keep going forward i think he's got like three years left on his deal oh two so we'll see what happens all right so the cubs made the postseason and this might be the last time that nico horner does make the postseason so we might keep a little bit of an eye on it but 10 years into the bigs He's sitting at just under 200 home runs. I mean, probably what his best year, 34 doubles, average is up, OPS is up. I mean, it looks like he's had one of his better years this, this career. 6.1 war is the best out of any year he's had. So you guys can kind of see where he sits at stats wise. But like I said, usually around that 34, 35 year range is when you start to see decrease in overall and then also that 10 year service time. So usually about that point, I've seen a lot of players start to decrease in rating. So maybe that's just the cutoff. 
you get 10 good years of MLB surface time. And then after that, everything just falls apart. So um, we'll see how they, they do in the postseason. Just to see, doesn't matter. They got eliminated. I was just to see if they made it to the World Series. They didn't. And um, yeah, that's 10 years of Nico Horner's career. I mean, it hasn't been a bad career. A pretty, like, especially the last few years, been pretty solid. Let's see how he finishes out the last year of his contract. See if he signs with anybody else. And we'll kind of take a look at his career as a whole. All right, the Cubs didn't make the postseason. It's 2033. Nico Horner just got paid. I'm going to show you his contract really quick. Um, he actually got paid last season. So he's got another five years on his deal. But I saw this season. And I see we have some awards and stuff. So I'm assuming he has some league leading stats. Like doubles, batting average, hits, on base percentage, and war. So I figured, alright, we probably have an MVP season. We didn't. We have a silver slugger and the Hank Aaron award. Oh, we didn't have an MVP season? Are you serious? For a guy who hit 43 home runs and 124 RBIs and a 270 average. Let's take a look. What did we have? 35 home runs, 108 RBIs, 45 doubles, and a 348 average. I'm pretty sure that's more deserving of the MVP rather than the other guy. But I just want to show you that season. That was kind of a, a big year, even at the age of 35. So... Pretty solid. All right, I feel like I've been simming for like forever. Nico Horner in 2042 finally decides to hang it up. I think he's been out of the league for a few years, as you can see. Um, he's yeah, 45 years old. He's 48 overall. Hasn't played since 2037. So 16 years in the majors, and uh, it's it's been a bit. You guys can kind of see he quickly fell off. Like after that M like MVP type season that I showed you. He had one more good season where I was like, oh, okay, maybe he's got a few more left. And then he just quickly, quickly fell off. I think when he finally left the Cubs after his contract expired, I think he was at like a, a 74 or 7. No, it was probably like a 71 overall. So like he went from what, 99 to 70, like, like that. It was really quick. So that is his career in a nutshell. So you guys can kind of see the totals. 323 home runs. A total of 510 doubles, 2,300, almost 2,400 hits, a career average of 268, and OPS of 800. Let's take a look at his war for his career, 58.4. Realistically, I don't know if he does make it into the Hall of Fame. I mean, was he a, a, a pretty solid second baseman? I mean, yeah, for a good string of like what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine i'd probably say what nine ten years he was a really solid second baseman and to think that was from the age like 27 on the way up till 35 38 you know that's that's a pretty long span like after your 30s to really hit that that peak of your career so i feel like it wasn't a bad career it just wasn't amazing we'll see if he makes the hall of fame he does not. So that's the Nico Horner career sim. I hope you guys do it. Enjoy it. Again, leave a comment who you want to see next for these career sims. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you're new to the channel and enjoy the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace. Cock that motherfucker back, kid.